This is a breakdown of how 5 gigabytes of data or 2.5 gigabytes of data would break into emails, pages viewed, basically just how you use the internet. Now if you see with Metro PCS, I only did the $50 plan and the $60 plan. These are actually the plans that are compatible with the mobile hotspot feature. And that's what I was been getting the questions upon. The $50 plan comes with 2.5 gigabytes of data. Email sent and received, that's 3500 a month. Emails with attachments, that's 1100 per month. Songs of streaming music, around 42. Web pages viewed, about 2800. Apps, games, or song downloads, 35. If you go up to the $60 plan, it does double your limit, which is 5 gigabytes. You will have 7,000 for emails sent and received, emails with attachments, 2,200, songs of streaming music, 75, web pages viewed, 5,600, apps, games, or song downloads, 70. I didn't add YouTube videos or streaming videos to this breakdown because it's really hard to gauge how many videos you can view with, with a limit. The thing is, is that every video is different, they're all different sizes, they would take up more data if it's a longer video, and it would take up less data if it's a really short video. If you're a video junkie and watching YouTube videos all day long, you're going to want unlimited data. So then you need to decide if you really want that hotspot or if you really want unlimited data, because the hotspot for Metro PCS is not available with an unlimited 4G plan. Thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe.